Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. I feel elated and privileged that I've been chosen to speak on behalf of my fellow participants in the coaching program Cohort 1 of the Dep and NAYAP NTC and the APEC schools. Looking back at our coaching journey with Mam Meng Barcelona at the helm, I remember the lessons we learned which led us to a lot of realizations about coaching. We represented the GROW model as our guide in our coaching session activities, wherein I personally had an experience to be the coach of my classmate in our simulation activity. Despite my lack of confidence in performing my role as a chosen coach, I was motivated by my mom Meng and my classmates, and I gave it my best shot. I guess I was the one who smelled the flowers and blow the candles first before asking my coach to do so, mimicking how Mom Meng did it in our demo video saying, smell the flowers and blow the candles. Our exchange of ideas with Coach Meng and more so with our classmates made our sessions more significant. The sharing of insights and experiences that we had in our breakout rooms even made our moments more fun and exciting, as well as more assuring and comforting. Our opportunity to be coached by professional coaches have made us feel the influence of a coach to his or her coaching. The LinkedIn lessons that we viewed have given us more knowledge on how we can further enhance our coaching skills and competence. Our practical love made us jittery but we have to take the challenge, apply our learnings, and pray that everything will just fine. Moreover, we have to pray that our internet connectivity will not leave us hanging in the air. And so, we keep on telling on ourselves, smell the flowers and blow the candles. And in fact, this has become our chant in our workplace whenever we feel the stress wearing us down. All of us then were riding on the same boat. We may have been coaching before, but, be to, but to be taught how to do it effectively in our session made us more confident to perform our role as coaches in our respective workplaces. We have so many realizations and takeaways from our coaching course that we can apply in actual coaching scenarios. We have to learn, relearn, and unlearn in order for us to embrace the journey towards becoming a coach. We were reminded from time to time that as coaches, we are not ahead or above our coaches. There are no titles or positions involved. As coaches, we should know how to listen not with just our ears, but with our heart. We have to show compassion and genuine concern to our coaching. Through this course, we realize that the purpose of coaching is developing leadership, creating self-discipline, building a self-belief system, creating motivation, and improving self-awareness. We have to come to learn that the essence of coaching is raising awareness and responsibility to unlock potential and maximize performances. And if, and if we can do our role as coaches effectively, we are able to contribute more to having a balance between highly driven and productive workforce and attainment of great milestone in the organization. For all this, on behalf of my classmates, I express our heartfelt gratitude to the Dep and NAYAP, NTC, and the APEC schools. Thank you for the opportunity to be a part of this training program and rest assured that we will apply our learnings in our respective word stations. To my classmates, when things get rough, and for sure, there will be times that they will. And I hope that we will be there for each other, coaching one another, building each other up, and reminding each other to smell the flowers and blow the candles.
So once again, thank you so much for this opportunity. Till next time, and God, good day to all.